what's up guys how's everyone doing today doing pretty good here thank you for asking uh, I got a little news story that I'm going over today uh, something that's kind of floating around the internet and big in social media um, the whole story of uh, Gillette and this new advertisement that they have with uh, Anna O'Brien um, so let me just read I have a as I do with my movie reviews a handy dandy trusty notes so uh, let me just read from my notes it may sound a little robotic and rehearsed or not rehearsed <laughs> but let me get this out there and then I'll try and tweak it later in the end of the conversation maybe Gillette Controversy over plus size model plus size in ads. Anna O'Brien is the new topic on social media. Lots of backlash and even some people coming in and defending her. This is not healthy. These are all my words. Nothing that I copied. These are all my words, my thoughts, opinions this is not healthy this is what society is trying to push on us this is why people die young this is why people are on medication for high blood pressure cholesterol diabetes etc at such young ages um this isn't plus size this is gross and this is obese should not be accepted. Never let someone like Anna O'Brien fool you with her smiles and upbeat attitudes. It's all a lie and covering up the real problems. Rather just unhappy, depression, anxiety, mental disorders, bad childhood, etc. Looking like that is not happiness, period. Not happiness. I don't care what they try to feed you. And we men get criticized for not wanting to be with a woman like that. We get bullied and made to feel shameful for liking and wanting beautiful, healthy, active women who care about themselves. This is what the delusional extremists are brainwashing you with. We men get bullied and pushed around, made to feel uh, less than with our man parts because we can't handle something that looks like that. Um, well, I tell you what. Criticize me all you want. I don't really care. I would not be with someone who looks like that because she doesn't care about herself, doesn't care about you, nor anyone else. And I don't care what line of crap someone that looks like that tries to feed you. That is not healthy. That is not happiness. And that will do nothing but create problems in the long run or short run. Um, no, size does not always matter as far as body fat and all that. It's, uh, there are plenty of athletes and fit, wonderful looking people that die every day. Things happen to everyone. But, uh, yeah, being obese, not gonna fly with me. Um, I have my limits of what I think looks good, what, what's acceptable for me. Um, and, and that's my that, that's how it is and I don't care what women think I don't care what social media thinks we all have uh, limits and uh, a, a vision of what we think beauty is one can adjust their limitations on certain things you know what I'm trying to get at with all this is 
don't be fooled into thinking that this is acceptable and okay. Um, there are limits. And that's over the limit. Being obese, uh, and, and not even just obese, but being fat, uh, not caring about yourself. I don't know what happens uh, to some people, but at a point in their lives, it's like they get they get in a relationship and they get pregnant and they get to that point. And I'm just talking about women. You can go on and make your own video about men, but right now I'm talking about women. They get pregnant and then they just go. They don't care about how they look. They don't care about what they do. They have. They don't try to get out there and do anything. They don't get in the gym. They don't get outside. That's like they can't do anything. It's like there's no interest. There's no nothing to try to keep themselves, you know, the way they were before they had kids. Just because you have a kid uh, doesn't give you the right or the freedom to just blow the heck up and now this man is married to someone who's completely and totally different I don't care if anyone likes the way that sounds I'm not here to cater to your uh, thoughts and desires and, and the feelings I'm telling you how I feel but it also goes towards men okay um, if you didn't marry a big fat slob of a guy and you're married to one now you know, a few years later, he's let himself go, then, yeah, that's a problem. Um, everyone should be expected to care a little bit uh, about themselves and about their partners. I, I don't really understand why things happen. I really don't. Um, now, I can, get, I can get comments and all that stuff well work and you get older and you get kids and all this stuff that's no reason to get fat to get obese uh, to go beyond what should be acceptable there's no reason me myself I'm way fatter than I want to be I'd like to lose 50 pounds um, it's never gonna happen I don't lose weight easily I like to eat I've always tried to be somewhat kind of active um, but at least I'm mentally sound of that. I know that. I know I'm overweight. I know I don't look great in my birthday suit. Uh, but I've always at least tried to do something. So, people, people got to wake up. Um, uh, it's, you know, your life is not just about you. When you're in a relationship... Uh, it's about everyone. Now, I'm not saying this woman's in a relationship. I don't know if she is or not. Don't really care. Uh, I'm just kind of branching off into relationship territory because no one should have to deal with that. And any of you that ever watched uh, the TV program with the gigantic obese people and they're with someone where they're married or they're just a uh, boyfriend, girlfriend or whatever, and that other person has to deal with that person and their family has to deal with it it's just it's horrible so Gillette should not be uh, glamifying obesity nobody should be you know nobody should be promoting that and even being um, big boned or uh, Plus sized is not an excuse. It's not healthy. Um, yeah. So anyway, I know I'm going to, if anyone watches this, especially women, I'm going to get some backlash. Don't care. Uh, everybody has their own opinions and thoughts. This is my YouTube channel. I'm going to express my opinions and thoughts, how I see. Uh, we need to wake up, guys. Because... This little story here, and some of the comments and people that are standing up for the woman, and beautiful in your own skin, and all this kind of crap, bull. It's bull crap. So, wake up America, or you're all going to be like this woman here. So, guys, 
Leave your thoughts and comments below. I hope you enjoy my videos. Subscribe, like, share, comment, all that good stuff. And don't forget, you can always get up, get out, get red, and do it to it. Even when touching on a little controversial news. So guys, we'll see you later.